Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to install and set up Apache Cordova as well as a small little demo application. So if you're not familiar with Cordova, what Cordova is is a set of JavaScript APIs uh, that exposes native mobile device functionality, uh, which is really cool because uh, that means that you don't have to go and learn uh, Java to create an Android application or Objective-C to create an iOS application. You're going to be working with tech that you're already familiar with, uh, which is a huge, huge plus. So let's go ahead and install Cordova. Um, sudo npm install globally Cordova. And now, obviously, you're going to need Node.js installed uh, to be able to do this. Um, also, you're going to need to have Xcode installed. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm only focusing on iOS. I'll add a Android-specific video at a later stage. Um, cool. There you go. Now, also, uh, we're going to be emulating the demo application uh, on a uh, on the iOS simulator, so we just need to add that as well. sudo npm install uh, globally iOS sim. If you don't, you're going to have a bad day. Cool. Okay, let's refresh that. Okay, uh, now that we've got Cordova and the iOS simulator installed, um, let's go ahead and tell Cordova to create our first project. Okay, so the first parameter that you're going to be passing to is the directory name. Uh, I'm just going to name it demo. Uh, the second parameter that you're going to be passing to is the reverse domain style uh, identifier. So I'm going to name mine demo com demo test, and then the last parameter that you're going to be adding is the um, application uh, title. So I'm just going to go make my demo app. Cool. Uh, there you go. There's your first little Cordova project. Um, now, the Cordova project is set up. We want to add uh, platforms. So let's go ahead and see into that directory and let's add iOS as a platform. Cordova platform add iOS. Now let me just go into the platforms directory where Cordova keeps all the different platforms. Um, check what happens when I do this. Cool. Now it's gone and created a Xcode project for you. You can go ahead and open it, open that up if you like, and play around with it. Um, pretty straightforward and really really cool. And that was really really fast. That took all of maybe. Or two minutes, not even. Uh, that's really really cool. Okay, so if you want to go and add a, uh, another uh, another platform, it's really just as simple as uh, Cordova platform add Android or Cordova platform add Win Windows Phone or what have you. I'm not sure what that one is, but you can go and have a look on Cordova's website what all the different uh, uh, supported platforms are. Okay, so. Now let's emulate our newly created um, Cordova application. Let's go and tell Cordova we want to run our iOS application on the emulator. Uh, you can change this to a device if you've got an iOS or iDevice connected. Uh, for now we're just going to keep it at emulator. Oh, open up in the background. Cool. There you go. And there you go. Your very first um, hybrid mobile application running on the iOS simulator. Easy as pie. Okay, so just another thing to note. Uh, Inside the your Cordova project, you'll find the www directory. Just to get you started, this houses all of your. Uh, this is your web root, and this houses all of the files that you're going to be editing. Uh, this is pretty much your application files. Um, you can go ahead and play around with this, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. 
Um, this is my first screencast, so please excuse any uh, uh, errors or any issues. <laughs> uh, if you like this, please uh, subscribe. Uh, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to be posting a few more videos uh, illustrating what Cordova can do. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned and uh, have a good one. Thanks.